So you guys just bought the house? Yes. All right, what did you guys pay for the house? 400,000. It's currently a three bedroom, one and a half bath. It's a little bit over a thousand square feet, close to 6,000 square foot lot. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> for me, this is like my favorite, favorite house to buy. I love big, nasty projects. It's been like this for almost two years. Oh, it's been like this for two years? Yes, yeah. two years. <laughs> the house caught on fire, and once we saw that our neighbors had kind of abandoned the house, I told Edwin, I want the house next door. How many houses have you flipped? We were like four or five at the moment. But nothing mm -hmm. like this. Okay, so is this safe to say this is gonna be the biggest project? <laughs> biggest so far. Yes. Okay, so question. I'm not seeing any burn damage. Oh. The, fire the damage. garage. The garage is, was right next was. to our garage. <laughs> and then obviously got part of the house here. So are you guys planning on building a new garage? Building the garage or doing an ADU. I mean, that's something that's popping up in the neighborhood. And obviously we wanna get top dollar because, you know, right after we're done doing this flip, we want to get top dollar for our home. Oh, you guys are planning on selling your house now. We need to move, we need space. So there's seven of us living in that home. So do you have a nine bedroom, <laughs> three bathroom next door? Because the house doesn't look that big. How many bedrooms in Basso, really? Yeah, that was a three pretty better one, bath. I knew this flip would affect their own home's property value, but I didn't know they were planning on listing both at the same time. There's a lot at stake here and a mountain of pressure to get this right. All right, let's see this thing. I'm excited. All right, is here it a we go. House? <laughs> yeah. Not a stinky house, but it's not a clean house either. <laughs> I think we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, so that's the fire damage. Yes. That's exactly that's where the, exactly. the fire damage happened from the garage. Yeah. Yes. So this house is really beat up. Look at this. Yeah. Yep. How much do you think it's gonna cost to fix it up? Ninety-five thousand. Okay. Um, and then we got the kitchen back here. Yes. Hey, it's bigger than I thought. That's not. That's actually yeah. a really good sized kitchen. Yeah. What we were thinking, it's. Po I mean, possibly tearing down this wall all the way down and and doing an island. Okay, so so you're thinking about maybe opening up this wall so from the front door you can see the kitchen. Yes. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. Yeah. Who's doing the work? Uh, we have a contractor that's basically looking at this and uh, we'll do the work. So, so you guys are gonna pull permits on the house? Yes, definitely. Okay, so everything's off to a good start. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys open this up, you run a nice countertop here. It's just a gorgeous view to the entire house. What do you think yes. about it, putting an island? Uh, where would you want to put an island? Um, somewhere, I mean, just around this position here, right? And then just facing facing the uh, the living room and part of the, the dining room. Uh, oh, are you talking like an angled island? Yeah, why not? Hmm. Yes, that's great. I, that, that's a great idea. What do you think? I, I was thinking more of like the L just to keep more of the, like the counter space on the bottom. And then we could do like the breakfast snuck on the outside where you can sneak in. Mm. Yeah, so in my mind right now, I can imagine all the cabinets are and everything's right. in. If you did a stackable here, mm -hmm. and then you did a pantry here, and then you have a countertop running, yes. and it dies right here, and then we have some bar seating right here. Yes. So you're talking about bringing it down and then returning this way yes. too? Let's see. All right, well, if it was me, yeah. I would probably bring the kitchen out a little bit more, not to impede the slider, because if mm -hmm. you're removing all this, this is all open, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I would just come across with a straight countertop. Okay. Um, so no island. I yeah. like the idea, but having an angled island walk into a kitchen, it feels a little old school to me. Okay. It really will make the, the space feel really, really right. tight. Because the room is laid up in squares or rectangles, right? And then we're yeah. gonna pop in an angle island that's taking up a lot of walking space. Okay. I, I feel like it would be a lot more modern yeah. if we just went with the normal, just straight countertop. And, okay. and for me, I wouldn't, I, I would just run it this way. I wouldn't mm -hmm. jog it back that way. Okay. And not everybody <laughs> listens to you, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd say about 5% listen to me. No, but I just think it'll look cleaner, sleek. I think that's perfect. You can actually see gone. the house now. Look at that. Hey, look, right? hey. <laughs> I had no idea how big the property was. Like right? this driveway is huge. And that's where the garage used to be, right? right? Correct. Yes. So we're contemplating about maybe doing a garage. Um, we even thought about an ADU. We're not quite sure yet. Financially, I hate saying this, but I think it makes more sense not to build an ADU. It's gonna take a ton of time and it's gonna take a ton of money. And by the time you add up all those costs, I don't think you're gonna sell it for enough money to make a profit. Mm. 
I even floated the idea uh, before the garage and the ADU, just doing a carport. But we figured there's all the houses around here have garages. Right, right. So what, have you priced out to build a garage? Like 30, 35,000. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I need you guys to do. Right. Run all the comps mm -hmm. and find out if there's anything that has sold without a garage and let's see what it sells for versus if it had a garage. Okay, we can do that. So what are you guys planning on doing back here then? I mean, we have a lot of uneven concrete. So, you know, my idea was to pave the whole concrete off flat, fresh. It looks to be in decent shape, this area, right? Mm hmm So all this can be cleaned up and, and pressure washed? Right. Yes. From here over, I'd probably get rid of this concrete, put in a strip of grass. And then this tree down here is really messing up the concrete. So maybe we just remove the concrete around the tree, mm -hmm. keep the tree there. And it also gives good avocados. Guess what? Avocados? Okay, yeah. good avocados are good. <laughs> and other than that, yeah, I would just paint up the block wall, fill in the planters, call it a day. As a flipper, you really need to consider the pros and cons of a property before you decide on the landscaping. With the freeway right next to this house, people aren't buying this place for the backyard, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to throw a ton of money at it. You should really spend the money inside the house because that's where people are gonna appreciate it. So have we made any progress or are we still shut down? We're still shut down, but we're almost there. Okay, Yeah. Um, so what are we shopping for today? Flooring, backsplash. Uh, so yeah. kitchen? Yeah, kitchen. Yes, kitchen. Yeah. All right, well this is nice. This flooring, this color especially, is super, super popular right now. So okay. I think this is a great choice. Mm. If I'm just looking at the countertops, mm. I mean, they're all beautiful. Mm. Um, my least favorite would be this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it might be a little bit too busy. So my two favorites, are right here. Mm -hmm. uh, this look right here is very, very, very popular right now. Okay. The reason I like this one, where normally I wouldn't say that, is because <laughs> it actually matches the floor pretty uh, darn well. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think you can go wrong with either of these two. So are you thinking this for backsplash, or are you thinking well, th this over here for backsplash? I don't know why Edwin. Edwin <laughs> brought this. Oh, okay. I that's I, Edwin's choice. I don't right. know. So I chose these two, <laughs> and she, she chose these right here on that side. All right, so who normally takes the lead on design? She does. Okay. I let Edwin, but he kind of overshops. He, he'll, he overshops yeah. or overspends? Uh, both. Little bit of both. <laughs> over, over, over rehab, over remodel. All right, you know, we'll, I get too. We'll know. keep him out of the shopping then. <laughs> One of the most important things in a flip is having the partners with clearly defined roles. If each person weighs in on every single decision, you're gonna slow down. And with the delays that these two already have with the city, they're gonna have to make everything else move as fast as possible. Okay, okay. so let's go with, we'll go with this flooring, this countertop, and then, this is neat. I really like this one. Yeah, that's gonna look really nice. You see how the countertop's gonna hit the backsplash and it's gonna run up the wall? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do we know if it's in stock? No. We have an axe. Okay, so we gotta make sure we always check to make sure it's in stock because we can't wait two or three weeks. So let's go figure that out. Great news after what, three months? And we're ready to go. Just getting that news that we finally got our plans approved. We're just happy now, relieved, and just hope that we're gonna turn, in, in, turn this uh, uh, ugly duckling into a swan. Okay, so I have a lot of questions today. Say oh my gosh. Yeah. This looks different, wow. Yes it does. The city deemed it uh, not uh, up to code and made us demo the whole thing. This was pretty important living space right. because right. the house felt twice as big. Yeah. Okay, so what's our plan now? Well, what are we doing? Rebuilding it. We're gonna raise the foundation and take it out just the way it was prior to. Right, and do it oh, the you right guys, way. You guys are gonna do an addition. Yeah. No, well, yeah. Re, re, built it back up, so we're gonna gain that square footage back out, you know, Correct. again, and they're gonna be a sliding door towards that side. How, how much is it costing you just to do this little addition right here? Because this isn't cheap to do. 20, 20, 20, 25,000. 
That's not so bad. If yeah. you can get it done for that, that's pretty good. Right. Yeah. yeah. How much longer do we got? We got like two months. I'll be surprised and impressed if they get it done in two months. Right. I'm thinking you're probably closer to three and a half, four months. Yeah. It's like gut wrenching, yeah. you know, because other projects out of sight, out of mind, but here it's like you look next door and it's right there. You can't so. escape it. You can't. No. You no. get out of the house and you look and you're just like, really? What could I have done with all that holding cost that is still there? And there so. I go, making the payment every month. <laughs> I don't think they really understand the huge bullet they dodged. If the real estate market wasn't the hottest it's ever been, they'd be losing a ton of money right now. I'm just glad that they're finally moving forward. Okay, so this yeah. is gonna be the primary bedroom with the, with the private bathroom. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, who did the designing today? Well, wasn't I in charge of that? Yeah, you were. Right? <laughs> so, Edwin, you're not allowed to speak until we're done, okay? All right, go for it, go for it. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be so hard. Gonna be so everyone has an opinion. All right, I gotta see this. I thought this was boring. And uh, to give it a little character, I thought this for the shower pan. I, um, I was thinking something like this. For, for the, the shower walls. walls? Yes. I like that. For a second, I was thinking, oh, it's too dark. This saves it. I like the white tile for the walls and then the darker tile for the floors. I have something a little bit lighter. I but... like that one. Mm -hmm. But then if we go with the gray tile, the black shower pan doesn't really work. I found another samples that I had picked up for the shower pan. Ooh. I think this for the shower pan, this for the bathroom floor, and this for the shower walls. It's gonna make the space feel bigger. It's gonna be easy to install, and I think it's super neutral. All right. Are you happy? Hey, I kept my promise. <laughs> he kept his mouth shut. He did. I know, he, he didn't did. say one I was word. Struggling. I'm like, oh. He better listen at this point. We <laughs> don't have time to be talking about this anymore. You just got to go. Chop, chop, chop. So knowing buyers are touring the house, what are you most excited about? Just how beautiful the house came out, you know? Because it was an eyesore for the whole neighborhood. Yeah, the house does look cute, huh? It does. Yeah. All right, looks like we got a couple. I like the front yard. It, it's so spacious. Like the big front yard? I don't know if you realize the freeway's right there. I'm not a big fan of that. Well, hopefully they'll fall in love with the design and forget <laughs> about the freeway. It's really nice, I love it. Open concept, just yes, like you want. Yes, I do, I love it. Well, well, they love the open layout. Honestly, it was scary to even think about what, what we were gonna do once the city told us that we had to tear it down. And now that they're walking through that open layout, it's, it's kind of a gratifying moment. I like the way they did the backsplash. I like the colors. The countertops yes. are nice, I like it. Is that for a microwave? Where's the microwave? The microwave uh, didn't get installed. Didn't get okay. installed on time. We we gotta finish the house next time before the open house. Okay. We have to. Do you notice that? The shaking. I know that's not earthquake. I think that's the freeway. It's more excitement for the house. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. Okay, this is a big bedroom here because we added that bathroom. So sleek, I love it. I like it. It seems kind of small though. I mean, if they only knew that was a closet, <laughs> huh? Right. It doesn't have a, um, even like a curtain to cover it. Is there no shower door there? No. Is it stuck with a microwave? It's, yeah. We gotta finish before the open house. Mm -hmm. Big lesson there. Oh. Now we're talking. Oh, this is nice. It's like the perfect size. I like her, I like her. Second bathroom? Well, it feels a lot bigger than the first one. Uh-huh. This is nice. What do you think? I like it. I've never seen this. I do like that tile. Good job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It looks like they didn't change out this tub. It, it looks old. No, uh -oh. it's, it's, it's new. It's the, it's the color. It's the color. It's off-white. 
Next time you come and you see the wrong tub, make sure the contractor fixes it right away before doing the shower walls, because once it's tiled, it makes it a lot more difficult. Okay.